make uh, something cool music wise here. Old Nate Ola. So we're, uh, I, I have the pump here, you just saw, or I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to uh, uh, polish up and just kind of make sure there's no nicks, no nothing on these, and then I'll come in here and I'll uh, polish up the housing bores a little bit, just on the, uh, the pressure section, because the pressure section was the only one that had a problem, which is this one. Um, and then we have the bypass here, which is stuck, so we'll tear this apart first. Take this out. And let's see. Yep. And so that plunger should fall out. Well, I'd have to take this out, but the plunger should, should move right here. Let's see if you can see this. See that plunger? Now we don't have any. The there, this is, is off the spring, so there's no spring pressure on it, and it, this should just flat out move, which it just doesn't. Um, it's locked up. So let's take this the rest of the way apart. Let's see what is going on. Yeah. Yeah, so the the plunger should come out of there with this and it is stuck. Stuck up in there. Hmm, it's stuck up in there hard. Uh So see this little spring spring and the uh, the jack screw right here. 
so the jack screw would provide more more spring pressure and uh, this whole assembly is like this Doo -doo -doo. so it's like that pushing on a plunger well which pushes the plunger all the way to close that that orifice right there and it is stuck not closing figure out I think I might just have to probably just gonna have to knock it out of there somehow oh there you go I forced it closed that's the way it's supposed to look not with the gaping hole in it when everything's all together this makes oil pressure when it's open it bypasses all of it out and now I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that out of there Hmm. Oh, here we go. So this is the back side of it. You can see it has a little plunger right there. Just a little tip. That's to stop it from going too far. There we go. There we go. Just had to work it hard enough to get it to come out. There you go. That guy right there was stuck makes no oil pressure when that is stuck open so this is the way it looks this whole little assembly of course the the spring is compressed is all up inside of there so I'm gonna get this thing uh, all finished up put it back together go put it on the the car <laughs> not the car Duh. I'm gonna go put it on the on Cletus's engine and we'll be running that thing here in probably an hour or so you've seen we got Garrett's engine on the dyno I had to change some lines around a little bit just to make it fit the dy uh, fit the dyno and what we're doing right now is we're just priming the oil pump and our prime the oil system and I put the clear view oil filter right here so what we're gonna be able to do is we'll run this thing and then we're going to come in take this filter right off right here look at the filter bada bing bada boom all done so uh, everything's all set and all good on here. We're gonna run it on methanol and run it through one set of the big injectors. Could've run it through the small injectors, but it's like, nah, it'd be kind of fun to just run it on methanol, see what it makes. So we'll uh, get a tune on it, make sure everything's all cool. Uh, gonna prime that oil pump right now and then start this thing up and we're gonna be uh, running. Okay, so that's just the first hit. So we don't have a tune done for this yet. So I didn't even bother recording data or, or recording data on the dyno. Uh, didn't really care. Because all I really want to see is um, what our tune-up looks like before we, uh, so I can build that base map and base timing.
horsepower at 6300 right off the bat. Now, keep in mind, this is, we can run it on pump gas, I can run it on 93 because it is a low compression engine because we need to have a low compression engine to run all the dry, all the driving, pulling a trailer, big heavy car, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, and this is not a optimized NA engine by any straight stretch of the imagination. It's not meant to be an NA engine. It's meant to be a boosted engine. It's meant to make 70 pounds of boost, 60, 70 pounds of boost. So, uh, pretty happy there. That's good. I knew this thing would make over a thousand horsepower. We'll run it a few more times here because we want to be able to, uh, uh, look at this oil filter. In fact, I'm gonna run it at least one more time, run it up higher RPM, probably like 7,500. Uh, typically, what you'd find in, th in this application is they, uh, because the camps, it's not optimized for NA, they usually will lay over pretty quick. And this will this looks like it's gonna lay over about 75, 7,000, 7,500 or so, which is normal because they don't have enough camshaft for an NA engine. So, uh, we don't have enough compression for it, peak horsepower NA engine so they will the SMX will make more horsepower if I optimized it for NA uh, doesn't have compression doesn't have the right camshaft this thing is a boosted turbo engine we're just running NA all right let's look at our oil pressure real quick uh, da -da -da -da. don't have that on uh, I think that's it oil pressure nice uh, 134 pounds that's about what it should be I have uh, it's not the oil is not hot um, so and it has a straight 70 weight in it which I normally run so when these things get hot and I have the, the bypass jacked all the way up on it so when these things get hot um, they'll because of engine clearance and crankshaft clearance all that kind of stuff you're gonna see that it really uh, these things idle and drive down the road at about 30-ish pounds of oil pressure with 200 plus degree oil temperature when we're driving it for hours at a time. But that's normal, that's what I'd like to see it at. Um, and we're measuring it going into the engine right at the filter. Uh, so uh, like on, I just came up with a little revision where I'm measuring oil pressure after it's run through the complete engine on my car. Uh, so it's at the back of the block where it takes oil pressure after or after everything has been fed including the lifters and it's taken at the lifter valley and it's like 95 so pretty happy about that uh looks good looks good i think we'll just uh, start this thing back up or wrap it up to 7500 and uh we'll slow this thing down and but oh we'll take a look at the tune-up that, that was literally the second hit so i haven't even done the tune-up yet let's see Let's take a look at that data log. So that is untuned, untuned right off the of first hit. So we'll take a look at this thing real quick. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy. It takes forever to download these big data logs, so that's what you'll see. It looks pretty good sitting there on the dyno too. Looks mean with the great big throttle body facing you usually you always got you know tubes tubes are all forced into it I mean that looks cool but I don't know that kind of looks kind of looks cool like that really need a big velocity stack intake on well, it well velocity yeah. stack intake yeah big yeah we'll put a, a pro loop bell on it <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at here. Oops. Let me change the viewing style here, because that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, closed loop was not on. Why is closed loop not on? Oops. Now with these things, This engine would be probably, unless you were so insanely bad, so far out, or you ran out, I don't know, you, I don't even know how you could hurt it, 
naturally aspirated. Tune up, you can't hurt engines naturally aspirated very hard, especially a low compression one. But uh, um, let's see where we're at here. I don't have that on. I got AFRs. Somewhere here, I'm off on my closed loop. Enable. Okay. Hmm. Hey, do you have one L2 of this or two? One. One? Is it on the right side? Because it. It, well, it measured, but it didn't correct. Why did it not correct? Oh, never mind. That's why. My bad. But I don't have a coolant temp sending unit in it. Because that would go somewhere else in the system. So, I had it starting at a minimum uh, temperature. Well, it never reaches that temperature because it's unplugged. So, the whole time it thought coolant temp was... 88 degrees, and I was telling it to turn the closed loop compensation on at uh, 100. So, that's all looking pretty normal. There's a terrible cup. There we go. Fine. We'll go over here. Cycle power. Make sure it's all in there. Yep, it's all in there. That's fine. Oh, look at that. That's a brand new feature to show Lambda. Huh, okay, didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, cool. Number two.
was just fixing some stuff on the uh, idle. And uh, well, before I shut it down. So now I'll take a look at numbers. So this is the last one that we just did. Let's see what this one was. Ah, 990. Well, definitely, see, it definitely lays over right there. That's what I was kind of thinking. And that's probably now because I got the O2 turned on. So it's probably uh, richened it up. So let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, and let's go back in and look at our oil pressure. Yeah, it's still 136. And we'll get this uh, data log to download and we'll take a look at that. Then kill right there. Keeping the camera running, sorry I had a little glitch in the computer so I had to reboot, but that brought up the last pass. 1,005 horsepower, 6,700 RPM. That's about where I figured it. And uh, came back repeated when we actually put fuel in it. Um, and uh, uh, just fixed the tune. So the very first pull didn't have the O2 on. And second pull, it had the, uh, turn the O2 on, made a little less horsepower, third pull. Pull. I don't remember fourth pull I we ran it out of fuel <laughs> and then here it's like okay let's just get it back to to where it should be so camera running engine right there let's go pull this filter and look at it and show you live time try to get this thing to not leak any oil here but we probably won't do that that do that uh impact there we go socket thanks Right there. Hey Kyle, can you open up this door so we can get a little air in here? Now this is right after refresh, so I mean I've had it apart and just put it all back together again. 
And what do we got here? That is a little piece of black silicone because that's what I use there. Um, a little more silicone. Some lint. Yeah, pretty much, that's just pretty much lint. I don't really see anything there. No ma big material of anything. Very minimal. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna to clean this off and we will start it right back up so it cycles oil through it. So this would be not after fresh rebuild. Let me go clean this off or blow it off right here. with that filled right there especially after uh, just being completely apart like I said most of it looked like uh, lint a couple little pieces of black silicone from uh, well I have a little bit of back sil black silicone there so let's tighten this up that oil pressure and then we'll come in here and we'll I'll start it grab it up a couple times come in here look at it all right oh let's look at our oil pressure report report 135 so that is spot on the money, staying exactly the same. So that's good. For a second and then we'll go in there and uh, check that filter real quick but I'm feeling pretty good definitely does not have the bigger flakes and stuff that, anything to worry about in there uh, but let's go in there we'll take a look here real quick I think that is uh, pretty gal darn clean. You think that's clean, Nate? It looks clean to me. <laughs> Camera guy says it's clean. It's got to be clean. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's. I think it's right spot on the money. Now, keep in mind, any any kind of little um, any kind of little issues you you see. Uh, all we're trying to do is say, okay, it's not making metal here. Um, 
So what would make, you know, what's in the car? So something's changing, something's moving, something's making something happen is what we're trying to figure out. What, what, uh, what Garrett is trying to figure out, what I'm trying to figure out, because uh, now I've been in this engine, you know, twice after I sent it to him and there's been nothing wrong. <laughs> nothing wrong with the engine. Uh, oil pump the first time, definitely had some kind of thrust issue uh, with, the, with the transmission. Came back this time, had an oil pump issue, uh, definitely doesn't have one now, and still had a transmission uh, charge pressure issue. So, uh, and that's clean, that's clean. So uh, that was all live, you saw it, uh, ran, it ran all those runs on it, uh, came in, showed you the filter, cleaned it off, made that nice long pull, we're just, just sitting there, um, and that's clean. So it's not making material. Uh, I think everything's good to go. So I think this is it. We're gonna send this thing out. I'm gonna re-signature the valve covers for the hell yeah, brother. And this thing is ready to rock and roll. Now, Garrett, put it in the car, put 60 pounds of boost in it, let her eat.